Hi guys, my name is Novo Kumalo. If it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. And if you're coming back, thank you for your continued support and welcome back. Listen, it is actually just before 11 p.m. I just got home from work. So this is going to be sweet and short. It's July 2023. We are officially halfway past the year. A lot has happened. Many of the goals that we had didn't really come to pass a lot of the promises we made to ourselves were a bit hard to keep and i'm sure some of us are feeling like this year has just gone super fast and we feel like we have nothing to show for it and i'm sure some of us are also feeling disappointed in ourselves for failing to keep our promises to ourselves for failing to um, show up as our best selves but i'm just here to let you know that you still have six months to go there's no reason why you should continue whining and worrying about the past six months that have passed because there's absolutely nothing that we can do about it and i'm here to let you know that you are not the only one who is feeling that way if you're feeling that way i myself have a lot of goals and resolutions that i set for myself that i've completely completely failed at i wanted to lose a bit of weight none of that has happened i wanted to read more none of that has happened i wanted to be more consistent on youtube and create more that has not happened at all so um yeah you're not the only one who might be struggling with feeling like you've let yourself down but we have been given the next half of the year to make the most out of it and you know what sometimes it's okay to just have survived the first half of the year like i have a lot of things that i didn't achieve but there are many times that i could have given up there are many times that i could have fallen but i survived and i stood up and i picked myself up and i showed up as the best version of myself that i could show up as at that time so give yourself a pat in the back for still being here today give yourself a pat in the back for not giving up even when the odds were stacked against you and know that you still have six months and that a lot can change in six months and if life is still just hard for you and you don't even have the drive or the zeal to make these six months count that's okay all you have to do is try all you have to do is give your best and your best is absolutely your best not your best according to um, what you see other people doing not your best that is defined by other people's expectations of you but the best according to the power and the strength that you have within you your best according to uh, literally having put your best forward and having made efforts and tried to show up as your best self and I think an important thing to remind ourselves halfway through the year is that we can do absolutely nothing if we're not in, in tune and relying on God you know maybe some of the goals that we've failed at are because we try to do it ourselves do it our own way and we thought we figured it out and we thought if we have like strategic plans and we know a b c d e then we're guaranteed success and maybe somewhere along the line we just stopped listening to God's voice and maybe some of the reasons why we haven't succeeded in the things that we wanted to do is because God is redirecting us to something different. So maybe the second half of the year, instead of like going back to your goals and rewriting them and you know wanting to go for them, how about you just pause and listen to what God is trying to teach you? I believe that in everything that happens, there's a lesson that you get out of it. So um, sit down and take talk of, of what has happened and why it has happened the way it's happened in the past half of the year, why you failed in some uh, of the resolutions that you'd made for yourself and try to listen closely to hear what God has to say for you. I, if there's one thing that I've realized this half of the year is that God is always speaking. It's just that sometimes or rather most times we're not listening. But if we try to find God in the little you know, routine, mundane things of each and every day, we will slowly but surely start to hear his voice louder and louder and he will um, start to be a part, an active part of our lives day to day. So not all hope is lost. You still have six months. Go for it. Ask God to guide you. Listen closely to what he has to say. Don't force your way through. Don't try to do things yourself. But um, as the Bible says, for the uh, I can do all things. Sorry, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Happy second half of 2023. Thank you for your time. Please like, please share, please subscribe. Please leave a word of encouragement for someone in the comment section. I'll see you guys again next time. Goodbye.